with another Trinity Productions YouTube video. This time we are going to be doing a overview of the RCF TT08. This is a 750 watt two-way cabinet with an eight inch driver and a uh, one inch um, exit uh, neodyme horn on it. And uh, we're going to get into it, take it apart, take a look at it. This is in their uh, TT line, which is the RCF top of the line, which is also their uh, top of the line for their line arrays and all of their concert and tour uh, touring systems. This TT is a full range two way speaker. Can be used for um, reinforcement, but it also has a cut on it so that it can be used as a monitor wedge. Um, this thing gets extremely loud, 500 watts to the eight inch, 250 watts to the high frequency driver. So um, we're going to get into it, take a look at it. Um, what I'm gonna do is put up the specs um, as a additional image uh, at the end of the video so you can see that. But um, what we'd just like to do now is just turn the cabinet here and just show you the different angles of it. It is made of, um, I believe, Baltic birch plywood, um, cut away so that it uh, holds the uh, integral amplifier module. It's got an in and a through on it, a volume control, and then it also has the LED lights on it for limiter, uh, signal status, and then uh, power indications. It does have a frequency response um, so that if it's used as a floor monitor, if you put two of them side by side, it changes the EQ just a little bit um, on the cabinet itself. But um, has a power con input power switch made in Italy by RCF. So there you have it. What we're gonna do is take a minute, remove the grill so we can show you the inner workings of this cabinet. And then um, we'll end up taking a look at the amplifier on it, pulling that out, and uh, pulling the individual components out as well. So stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, here we are back. We've got all the screws out of the side of it. I've just got the last one here that's on a, um, a little threaded uh, Allen nut, or Allen screw, should I say. And um, we'll go ahead and pull this last one out and then um, take a look at the inside. Um, the grill is uh, very nice. It's got a foam backing to it, um, as you can see, and uh, gives it a really professional look. Um, as far as thickness, uh, maybe 16 to 18 gauge, um, but uh, really, really nice looking grill on this speaker. So now we've got the inner workings opened up on this and exposes, whoops, grill fell over, exposes the um, 90 by 60 horn and then also exposes the, uh, the eight inch driver uh, for the lows. These are precision uh, RCF drivers in these cabinets. And then also inside here, you can start to see um, with the port, the, um, the amplifier that is in the back of it, but um, all very solid, solid wood construction on it. Um, what we're gonna end up doing is pulling out the horn driver and also the eight inch driver and taking a look at those in the construction of the cabinet. So um, let me grab the remote here so we can stop the camera and uh, we'll get these pulled out and be right back. Okay, we finally got it loose, took a little bit of coaxing to get it out. But we'll go ahead and remove this precision driver. Um, as you can see, it is a, um, looks like it's a cast basket um, on this. Um, it does have um, some pretty heavy duty input wires on it. It is a four ohm driver, very, very light. I would say probably in the maybe six to seven pound range. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull off the leads on this so that we can take a look at it. Um, what I'm going to do is bring it up a little bit closer to the camera here for you and let you take a peek at it. Um, just regular paper cone uh, suspension. There is the magnet assembly um, and you can see the, uh, the frame assembly of this. But um, 
very nice speaker and uh, constructed very well. But as we do this, it opens up the inner workings of the cabinet and lets you see the um, amplifier board module and everything that we'll take a look at in a, in a minute. Um, but what we're going to also do is we're going to pull the horn out and also take a look at the compression driver um, that's on the horn. It's got a one inch throat exit. Um, I believe it is a inch and three quarters um, uh, voice coil diameter on the driver uh, itself. And uh, I think we've got probably a two and a half inch voice coil diameter on the eight inch driver um, from what the, uh, the spec sheet on the, uh, the unit says. So anyway, um, we're going to go ahead, pull this other high frequency horn driver out, take a look at the driver, take a look at the horn, and um, we'll go ahead and get the screws out, and we will be right back. Okay, so we've got all the screws out of the driver. We've got one more to go, which we're going to take out with the, uh, the DeWalt here. And um, as you can see, that one's much looser than the... Um, Sorry, drop the drill, but that's how we have to deal with things. Um, so anyway, we've got the driver out. What we're going to do is pull off. These are just on little push terminals on the driver itself. We're going to go ahead and pull those off. Uh, they're marked with a plus and the minus on them. Same color code as the wire. Go figure. What a cool idea. Um, this is a um, 4 Pro 6001 uh, uh, neodymium driver and uh, it is um, on a plate assembly where it is um, bolted up to the horn and what we're going to do is get a little bit closer here so you can take a look at this and um, look down the throat of the horn this is the um, 60 by 90 horn there is a side view of it there is the back of the driver with the little push on connectors but um, as you can see with the construction of it there and how it is attached to the, uh, the horn assembly, cast horn, cast aluminum. Light, probably less than five pounds for the whole assembly um, on, the, uh, on the driver and the horn itself. But um, now what that does is it really opens up the, um, the inside of the cabinet and lets you see the amplifier module. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this thing around, pull the screws and pull the amplifier module and let you take a look at that and um, see what these are uh, constructed of. So give me a minute. We're gonna remote this, turn the video off and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We've got all the screws out of the back of the amplifier. So I'm just gonna reach inside there and just kind of push it out Pull this guy off and take a look at it. Um, Weight-wise, maybe five pounds. So um, what I'm going to do is get this thing a little bit closer. Um, show you that it's got the whole um, DSP section up here, input section that is associated here with the uh, XLRs and everything else. And then the amplifier section is here utilizes, uh, I'm sure, a uh, high-speed uh, switch mode power supply. And um, the voltage range on this, um, as far as setup, uh, is uh, 220 to 240 or uh, 110 to, um, to 120. Uh, so it is kind of a, uh, a universal power supply. And when they ship these, they ship them with both the 120-volt uh, uh, cord for the power pump and also the um, 220 volt um, cord with power pump connector. But um, for the, uh, the amplifier, everything is um, surface mounted on the board and um, it's got a, a pretty massive aluminum heat sink that you can kind of see there and uh, some large um, power capacitors. Um, but for a 750 watt power amplifier, um, not very big. This is kind of the wave of the future uh, as far as power amplifiers go with the switch mode um, power supplies and the size of things of what they're able to do now that um, they're only getting smaller and better. But um, that is it for the entire um, power amplifier um, on this particular cabinet. And um, what we're going to do is get this.
this cabinet back together and then um, fire it up. One thing that I, you can see in the video now is that on the inside of it, they've got uh, some uh, insulation damping material um, on the inside of the cabinet that um, helps keep uh, the resonance out of the cabinet uh, with the speaker. We have fired this up um, earlier today and um, it just sounds fantastic. Um, they have gone through and around each of the, uh, the openings here for the horn. They've got uh, some little foam strip to seal that up on the back of the, um, I think the cone there, uh, the paper cone speaker, the 8-inch driver. They've got uh, something to seal that up. But um, on a little threaded inserts all the way around for the horn driver as well as for the 8-inch driver, um, it is made of um, multi-layer plywood. Uh, and it's... Um, Look from the inside of it where it didn't get painted. It is birch plywood. So um, we'll go ahead and get this thing back together and uh, let you take a listen to it. Um, get that laid down. It does have um, some fly points up on the top of it. Um, in fact, now that it's so light, we'll just let you take a look at that. But um, it's got, uh, I'm not sure what the name of that uh, rigging hardware is for the top of that, but um, it does have that on the top and um, the speaker mount um, pole socket on the bottom. So, there you have it. One empty speaker cabinet, but with all the components in this thing combined, it produces some phenomenal sound um, for this RCF uh, TT-08, as with all of their TT uh, series line. If you've ever gotten an opportunity to hear their TT series cabinets, um, you need to do it. Uh, there is a number of rigs um, in the United States right now that are fairly large and uh, are doing some major concerts, but um, absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal cabinets. So anyway, um, hang tight and uh, we'll pull this back together and get some audio pumping through it. So stay tuned. One of the things that I wanted to comment on while well, I've got this open and we're just about closed back up, but is the construction where they've um, kind of countersunk the, um, the horn driver and countersunk the 8-inch driver into the cabinet. A very professional and very well constructed box. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the screws back into the 8-inch driver, get the grill back on and get some sound coming through it. Okay, and there you have it. We are back together and uh, playing music out of this, um, this speaker. Um, as with all of our speaker systems and products that we bring in, um, we do take them apart, take a look at them, uh, give an overview of them as we have done with our entire uh, DB Technologies line. And this is the first speaker in the RCF line that we have cannibalized and uh, done a video on and let you take a look at as well. So anyway, that's it. One fantastic sounding speaker. Um, this thing gets extremely loud, extremely pristine as far as the volume is concerned. Um, take a look at it. We highly encourage uh, that you take a look at these things if you're wanting to purchase something that is uh, extremely good quality. Uh, with uh, fantastic precision RCF drivers uh, in it. Give us a call, and the phone number is area code 209-832-8023, or look us up on the web, www.trinityprosound.com, or as you found our YouTube channel, that's under Trinity Pro Sound as well. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking a look at the RCF TT Plus line, and we will be putting up some more videos very soon. Thanks for stopping by.